my alarm, playing the song Fireflies boomed loudly on my phone speaker, woke me up suddenly at exactly 6 o'clock a.m. I jumped, rolling off the bed in shock as I wasn't used to this alarm, as it was labeled, Wake up! First day of school! I groaned, rubbing my head and grabbing my phone, and shutting off the alarm. Standing up slowly, I dragged myself to the bathroom to splash some water on my face to wake myself up. I blinked a couple of times and dried my face with a towel. I stepped onto the mat next to the shower and moved the curtain, reaching over and twisting the knob to turn on the shower. I gasped as I was suddenly hit with freezing cold water, sighing. I pulled off my shirt and boxers as this is what I slept in. I hissed as I tested the water with my arm and was burned by steaming hot water. Great. I mumbled as I turned the cold knob to the right more. Finally, the water was just right and I stepped in, beginning to wash my body and hair. Fully dressed and filled with some energy. I really should have eaten more as I'm still hungry from only having a granola bar. With my backpack on, I opened the front door and walked outside. The door shut behind me. It was 6.45, so it was somewhat still dark. The sun was just about to rise. I walked down the sidewalk to the bus stop. I paused in my footsteps and stared at the group of people my age standing at the bus stop. One girl and two boys. I sighed in relief as I saw a brown-haired girl and a blonde-haired boy. The other boy was clearly Jonathan's brother, a bit taller than him. Walking closer, I soon saw another head. It was Jonathan. I jumped behind a tree, gasping for air as I struggled to calm myself down. I always had this weird feeling around Jonathan. I don't know what it is. The group of people went on. I quickly snuck on after them, and the bus drove us away to school. Ring! The bell rang for lunch, and as many others got up and ran out of the classroom, I purposely stayed back for a little bit, and then left. I didn't have many friends, so I tend to avoid crowds of people the best I can. I bring my own lunch, and like last year, I sat in the back corner table. I pulled out my sketchbook and began working on my drawing of, well, Jonathan. The feeling came back, but it only made me think of what he looks like even more, which helped. Five minutes before the bell rang, I went outside the study hall room so I wasn't late, nor I wouldn't be in a large crowd. The bell rang, and I quickly walked into the back of the room. Jonathan walks in with his group of friends, and I shrugged my shoulders into my neck and looked away. He didn't notice me, thank goodness. Soon all the desks filled up, and everyone was talking. Some doing homework and some texting. Me? I was drawing Jonathan. But on my lap so no one saw. Dude, is that Jonathan? A semi-popular boy yelled behind me in surprise, pointing to my drawing. Ugh, eh, no, no? I squeaked out as I shut my sketchbook tight. I, it was, um, uh. Everyone went silent as they stared at me, even Jonathan. I blushed, looked around, then quickly grabbed my stuff and ran out. I didn't take the bus. I ran home, fast. Slamming the door to my house, I broke into tears of embarrassment. Is it too obvious to Jonathan now?